Hey guys, it's Andrew from Cardinal Kia. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the theme of the 10 and a quarter inch digital instrument cluster in the all new 2023 Kia Niro EV. I have in front of me here a limited in snow white pearl. Let's get started. Okay, so to start us off, we've got the 10 and a quarter inch digital instrument cluster here. And right now you're gonna see down here that I'm in the eco mode. And then this is the theme that the eco mode is on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the drive mode button because right now, if I were to change the drive mode, let's say we're gonna go from eco to normal, you're gonna see the theme will change. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it into sport mode. And that's what sport mode looks like. And if I were to put it into the snow mode by holding the drive mode button, that just basically looks like the normal mode. So what we can do now is we can go into the 10 and a quarter inch infotainment screen I'm gonna go ahead and swipe to the left and then we can enter setup in the bottom right corner or we can hit setup down in the control center when the infotainment controls are showing. And then I'm gonna go into vehicle and then on the left here, I'm gonna go into cluster and then you'll see cluster theme selection in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. So right now it was linked to the drive mode. So when I went to change the drive mode, you see, whoop, you see it's going to adjust in here as I change it. Now we can unlink it from the drive mode and you can tell it to be in a specific theme. So right now this is set to classic A. So classic A is basically like the normal mode. Classic, <laughs> classic B is like the sport mode. And then classic C is like the eco mode. Now, if we were to scroll up in the middle here, then you'll see we have our dynamic mode. So if I go ahead and select that, this is what the dynamic looks like. So regardless of what um, drive mode we're in, it doesn't matter, it would still maintain this particular theme because we have it unlinked from the drive mode. So now you'll see it kind of looks like, especially because we got the lane safety screen in the middle there, looks like the car is driving off into the horizon. And as you start to pick up speed, it actually starts to blur a little bit at the top, like you're kind of going faster somewhere. Um, and it still maintains like all the important information um, throughout the instrument cluster. And if you were to be driving at nighttime, it will actually change based on the light of day. So it will darken the skyline. And if it happens to be raining or snowing, then there's also little animations through there based on the, the weather outside. And it's up to you which one you want to keep it as, or you can always just have it linked to the drive mode. So when you go to adjust it, it just, you know, based on the mood or the drive mode you're in will depend on the theme. And that's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys.